everybody welcome back to the channel uh finally all moved in my new house this is my new garage as you can see it's definitely not the same setting as before so i'll give you guys a quick tour not much to see it's a one car garage now not a two car garage and it's a lot neater than the last one was but today i got a video for you on a clear tail light cover for the factory light and it does come with an led board and it looks like it's plug and play i'm not going to use it but i am going to try it so you guys can see if you're interested if this is something you might be interested in um i have a blinking led bulb that blinks five times and then it goes solid so hopefully it's going to be bright enough to work with this clear tail light lens but enough of that let's jump right into it get busy all right guys this is the tail light let me show it to you now this is from ebay advanced lighting and it does say i don't know if you guys can see it but it's checked that it has turn signals you probably can't see it but but this does not have turn signals it's only got two wires so i'll show you guys that But it was under twenty dollars. It's actually pretty nice. The lens is actually seems like it's pretty well made. It's supposed to fit factory assembly, obviously, if you could throw them on the ruckus, but we'll see. Um, it's pretty cool. And then this is the LED board that it comes with. I'm not going to use this, but I will put it in and install it for you guys. It comes with these. Pretty nice board, actually. Looks like it just, you know, plug the factory light and plug it in. And it comes with these rubber grommets. I just dropped on. Well, it comes with two of these rubber grommets for vibration. I'm not going to use it. But let's get this tail light off. There's two Phillips head screws. That's it. You should never put these on too tight. Before I take this off, let me show you guys why I'm not using the LED board. That's why I'm not using it. And that's my little LED bulb that's in there. Matter of fact, you know what, I'm going to try this because I don't even know if this is red. Let me see if this is even red because that will kind of kill my plans. Yep, it's red. Now, just for the heck of it, let's try this board. Because you guys buying this bulb will probably, you'll have to use this board, really. If I can get the thing in. Does it wanna turn? That's weird. Doesn't want 
turn. It's supposed to be a plug and play application, but it doesn't seem like it. It's weird, it's not going in. All right, well, that's what you get for buying a $20 part from eBay. I don't think these tabs on this thing are spaced properly and it won't let it turn once it's sitting in the uh, socket. So that's just something to think about if you guys are planning on ordering this tail that you're going to need to get a, a red bulb. Let me try one more time. Nah, it's not going in. It's not going in at all. So that's pretty much junk to me. See, mine goes in nice and easy. It actually fits really well. There we go. Surprisingly. When you're tightening these back up, it's only plastic, so don't tighten it too much. pretty much wraps that up as I mentioned if you do buy it um, I, my my socket didn't work but you, you know you guys might have better luck than me you saw it I'm not going to edit that out I don't really understand why it wasn't going in but it wasn't going in you saw how easy my bulb went in um, you probably could just cut these wires and wire it directly to the to the brake harness if you did want to use this, which is not a big deal at all. Um, you can even make yourself a quick disconnect. Let me see if I have the kit that I bought here. You could get one of these harness kits. It comes with all, all the clips, all different size clips and things like that, or you can make your own harnesses from two all the way up to nine so that's a good thing to have around when you have a project like a ruckus because you're always going to be adding things modifying things but for the 20 dollars that this cost it's worth it just to have the uh the clear lens like you like you saw the lens fits excellent so let me give you guys another look at that yeah the lens fits 
Excellent. As long as you have a red bulb, you'll have no problems. Looks cool when it's parked. But just another thing for you guys that want to keep your stock tail light, which I do. I want to keep my stock tail lights for as long as I possibly can. Next, I've been trying to get clear covers for the blinkers for a year. I have no luck finding these things anywhere. Um, I did find some on the website Web Bike Japan, but when I saw them, they only had two, and obviously I need four because I have my factory front blinkers and rear blinkers. So, what are you gonna do? But thank you guys for stopping by, spending a little time with me, checking out my new garage. Um, really happy to be moved into a new house. And um, please, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Show some love. Throw me a like, you know, a share if you want, whatever. I appreciate all the support, you guys. I'm almost at 200 subscribers. I want to thank all my subscribers who have been with me from the beginning. And, you know, I really appreciate you guys. It's The support is awesome. Uh, until the next time, I'll see you guys. I got a lot of stuff that I've bought over months that I have to install. Carbon fiber front fender. Uh, I got a, a coil. I got radiator hoses. I got, I got all kinds of things, all kinds of videos coming up, you know, when I get some free time to, to work on this thing. But until next time, peace.